Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Um, I hope this is actually live, but suddenly I'm getting a uh, my laptop's security software is suddenly telling me that it's blocking something. Like literally right as this video started, it comes up with this, we're blocking PowerShell or something. And I'm like, uh, uh, is this working? It says it's working. Hopefully it's working. Hi. Good morning, everyone. It is 8.20 a.m. on Saturday, April 6th, 2019. Uh, still here in South Korea. I'm going to point out to you right now that the two framed pictures of Marilyn Monroe uh, behind me are actually not the same. It's a slightly darker shade of blue in this one than that one. Uh, I was actually thinking today that on the agenda, uh, I would probably go to see Shazam a little bit later in the movie theater that's right near the hotel. <clears throat> but one of the other things that I have considered doing uh, while I'm here is doing a little bit of streaming of some classic video games. And uh, by classic, what I mean is that I have those little, uh, like the the NES and the Super NES Classic, uh, and the new PlayStation Classic, and finding some of those good old games and figuring out how to uh, stream them on Twitch. And I, I believe that I've figured it out. I've not experimented with it yet very much, but uh, uh, I think I've got it figured out. And so now I just need to decide what kinds of games would be the ones to play. What I could do, of course, is have it be kind of a grab bag where I just play whatever I feel like in the moment or even encouraged by the, you know, the, the chat stream, which is probably the general approach that I'll do. But Twitch has an interesting quality to it where you have to select which game you're playing. And if you change it, I don't think you can change it midstream without relaunching the stream or else it messes up the metadata or something. If there's a way to do that, I don't know what it is. So thinking about how I want to try to maybe pick a game before I start the stream, but how to decide, how to decide. And so I think that, uh, uh, I, you know, there are there are many games on that list that will, uh, you know, last certainly long enough to do some streaming with. But you know, just deciding. There's so many choices. Uh, I could, I, for example, on the PlayStation Classic, there is uh, the original Resident Evil, which I've never played. I've always been vaguely interested. Uh, the only Resident Evil game I've played a significant amount of is 4, which I played most of the way to the end, but then got frustrated on one of the last bosses and never finished it. Which is actually a good connection to Final Fantasy VII, which is another one of the games on there, which has a similar story for me, which is to say that uh, I played it almost to the end, realized I was not high enough level to beat the end boss, but had already reached a point of no return, and uh, had been out of save slots, and so basically would have had to start the game all over, and did not. So I've actually never seen the ending of that game. I could have easily looked it up and watched it on YouTube or something at this point, but I haven't. Um, but then again, there's also the Metal Gear Solid series, which I have all of the main games I have played from start to finish and loved, and so I could play Metal Gear Solid. Uh, but then there's also just lots of sillier games. I could pick some of the other games that I've, you know, don't really know anything about. Or, uh, you know, just uh, some of the ones that are, you know, good old, uh, you know, uh, nostalgia bliss, like uh, uh, Legend of Zelda, um, you know, or Metroid, Super Metroid. Mm, gosh, so many choices, so many choices. How to decide? I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. There's no, it's not like I have to pick one and then that's the only choice for forever and all time. Gosh, wouldn't that be something? If you had to decide to play, you know, one video game to have for the rest of your life. Gosh, what would I pick? Hmm. 
of games that I know about, what would I want for like all of time? Obviously, I think something that, you know, like lasts a long time could be, you know, uh, lots of interesting different variations to discover. You know, I like one one thought is like something like Minecraft because it's just very flexible. But the truth is that, you know, like, I mean, I don't play Minecraft a ton because there's other games. I don't have to pick just one. But something like one of the Civilization games maybe too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I think I will leave it there. I'm going to have some breakfast and then maybe try to figure out uh, which game I want to do some streaming. So if you're watching this or seeing this, then uh, maybe check out to see if I've started a Twitch stream. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. It'll be Sunday, so I'll be continuing my rewatch of Gravity Falls with part one of the season one finale. So talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.